Yes, we are. Okay. What if you had this? Now look. I'm gonna be out. Shh. Listen, we only have a few minutes, so let's not play around. What if you had something like this? And um, I told you to find the perimeter. What does that basically mean to find the perimeter of anything? The area? Is that what you want to say? I say this, okay? I say this. It's the distance around. It's easy to remember, isn't it? Now look, some books, this one included, are you listening? Some books, this one included, they, they give you all these special formulas to memorize. I think it's ridiculous to memorize a bunch of formulas. I mean, they're like, you know, the perimeter of a triangle is A plus B plus C. The perimeter of a square is S plus S plus S plus S. I mean, that's dumb. I say this. I just think it's a distance around. So if you wanted to find, if that's 3 and that's 4 and that's 5, what's the perimeter of this triangle? Do I have to memorize some special formula? Obviously not. Just add up the what? Add up the sides. That's all it is. What would that be for this? That would be 12. So the perimeter is 3 plus 4 plus 5. It's not like I had to memorize some formula. I just remember it's the distance around this thing. Okay? And that would be 12. Now, for a circle, it's a little different story. Okay? Yeah. You do have to memorize a little formula for this because you can't just add up the sides to a circle. But you should remember this. Circumference is a word that we use for the perimeter of a circle. For some reason, it gets its own special name, okay? So circumference is, you remember what it is? 2, two pi, pi, not squared, is just r. r. Area is squared, okay? But perimeter, pi, uh, you could go pi d if you wanted to, pi times the diameter, but a lot of times a problem will give us the radius of the circle, right? And then you just find the circumference. So you could, you know, just double it, find the diameter, but there it is. 2 r is the diameter anyway, isn't it? Yes, sir. So you could do it. So watch, 2 times pi times r, which is 5, which is what? 10 pi. You could just leave it. Look, I'm okay if you just leave it 10 pi. Or if you want to chuck that in a calculator, you could. 30 That's 31.4. No, it's 31.4 because it's 3.14 times 10, right? All right. Um, that's basically, oh, let's talk area real quick. we still got a couple minutes. Now, what about a, let's draw this. What about a rectangle? All right, we have a formula for area of a rectangle. Do you remember this? It's the length times the width. That's what a lot of people say is length times width, and you can say that, and that's fine. I've taught that way for years. Or you could say this. What if that was B and this was H? Then it would be what? Base times height. Base times height. That's how I'm going to do it. Okay, base times height. Or you can just put B and H next to each other. Okay? So it's the base times the height. Very simple. Now watch this. I'm running short on time, so I'm going through this a little bit quick. But watch. What if I started from this corner and drew a line up to this corner right here? Then what did I do to that rectangle? I cut it how? I cut it in half, didn't I? Okay, so look. Basically... That triangle right there is how much of the rectangle? Half. It's half of the rectangle. So, guess what? The area, I'll put a little T there for triangle. Is that all right? So, the area of a triangle is the base times the height, what? Half. Divided by 2. Or you could say 1 half the base times the height. That's how they got the area of a triangle. Right, because a triangle is half of that rectangle, so the area of a triangle is one half the base times the height. Let me say something about the base and the height real quick. Are you listening? This yeah. base and this height, remember this was a rectangle to begin with. What must be true about the base and the height? They must be what? I put a little I put a little box right there. What does that I mean? Need Alyssa Simmons for an early dismissal. Okay. Thank I, you. I, I put a little box right there, didn't I? All right, so what is true? Just give me a second. We'll be there. So it's a 90-degree it's a angle. They have to be what? What's the fancy geometry word? Two lines that form a right angle. Perpendicular. perpendicular. That's right. The base and the height have to be perpendicular to each other. Do you hear me? The base and the height have to be perpendicular. Um, I don't think they're going to get too crazy on this, but I got like a couple minutes. Hold on. Watch this. What if I had... What if I had this? Watch. What if is do I have the height given right here? Watch, that's the base. If that's the base right here, what's the height? The height would be from the top, right? Perpendicular to the base. So it would have to be 
straight up and down like this. Does that make any sense? Like that. So that would be the height. So that's the height, not this. Okay. Um, Alyssa, just here, you get your assignments right here. Look under uh, Wednesday. It's right here. Okay. Yes. Um, I'll put it up on here area, too. Area is it always like when you're done? Is it always like the? It's whole square. Thing is squared? It's squared, right? It's always squared. Okay, because look right here, like this. If this was like three meters and this was two meters, then what would it be? It'd be six what? What's meters times meters? Meters. Meters squared. Okay, so it's always squared. Area is always squared. Let's do one more. We'll be finished. What about area of a circle? It's not 2 pi r. Somebody kind of mentioned it before. Got it mixed up. It's pi r squared. Notice the squared is area, isn't it? So squared is only for area. Pi r squared. So if I was going to do this, what would it be? It would be time or pi times 5 squared, which would be what? 25 pi. You could leave it like that. Or you could throw that in a calculator. 25 times 3.14. Whatever you want to do is fine. Okay. My guess is this book probably puts it as a decimal. So if you want to throw that in the calculator and get an, an answer, JV and varsity you're soccer, you're now dismissed. All right. Does that make any sense? Yeah. All right. So here is your assignment. Don't leave JV and varsity soccer. Damn. Oh, no. Is that close? Yeah. Oh, it's not close. What, do you think you're going to get out of it? Is no. that what you're doing? You gotta, I know I wasn't. Right, you got to look on YouTube. If I, if you ever have to leave early, it's your responsibility to look on YouTube and find the assignment. Plus, I email the assignment at the beginning of the week anyway. All right, so there's two different ways. At, well, it, that's your problem if you don't look at it. Right? Yep. So I don't care if you don't look at it. Just don't complain about not knowing the assignment. <laughs> you know, that's all I'm saying. All right, so there it is. So you're doing 11 to 32, section 1, 6, page 61 and 62. Got it. Everybody got that? Yep. All right. Have fun with that. Thanks.